everybody. A very warm welcome from my side. My name is Christian Römelin. I'm the head of product management for planning and analytics at SAP. And in the next 25 minutes, we will talk about our roadmap and strategy for our SAP analytics solutions. As you may have seen this before, always if product management talks to you in roadmap and, and strategy presentations, we show the legal disclaimer as things that are planned in the future might change. Our strategy within SAP is clear. We are going into the cloud and our strategic solution for analytics in the cloud is SAP Analytics Cloud covering three pillars, business intelligence, augmented analytics, including predictive capabilities and enterprise planning on one common platform, sharing platform services that you can see at the bottom of the slide, data connectivity, preparation and modeling, and sharing the same front end, the digital boardroom, stories and analytical applications as our browser-based front end, alongside with our Excel add-in for Microsoft, Office 365, which is shown here as MS Office integration. Why is it so important to have all those three capabilities combined in one solution? Because it makes sense. With the BI capabilities in SAP Analytics Cloud, we can look into the past and answer the first question, what has happened? With some modeling and smart features, we also can answer the question, why did this happen? But it's still a look into the past. We want to look into the future. And therefore, we can use now the predictive capabilities, using these facts and project them into the future to answer the question, what could happen in the future? Where would we end up? But there is still a piece missing, right? We need planning to also answer the question, what should happen in the future? To answer finally the question, how can we reach our company's vision and our goals? So how are we doing this within SAP Analytics Cloud? In SAP Analytics Cloud, we're offering a sandbox that you can see on the left-hand side, offering a rich capability set. So we can ask questions to understand the status quo and model our business questions inside models. We then can analyze our data to get some ad hoc insights and explore the data, use the predictive capabilities to create a forecast into the future, maybe as a planning proposition. During our planning exercise, we can input and adjust data, distribute and allocate it, and use advanced formulas for scripting capabilities. And then we can act and visualize the data to make comparisons between actual and plan. And during all this process, we can um, monitor it to check where are we at the moment. And of course, as you can see in the middle of the yellow honeycomb, collaborate to share stories, run discussions, and enter comments. And with that, we can build applications that you can see on the right-hand side. In the area of HR, sales, of course, finance, and more, that need to be connected, yeah? that you can see in blue here indicated. So we can connect all those planning and analytics models together. And of course, we need to connect it to the outside world of SAP Analytics Cloud by the surrounding enterprise applications. So we can connect SAP Analytics Cloud to SAP success factors, to integrated business planning, to SAP S4 HANA Finance, where we have read, but also write back capabilities. It's also important that we're investing into business content. And here we can see a business content package in the area of workforce planning. So we're creating and providing predefined planning models for example salary location planning to plan also contingent workers and offer this in our analytics content network with a start screen with predefined input sheets and dashboards in the area of work workforce planning and analytics that comes alongside with predefined models and also processes for aggregated workforce planning but also detailed workforce planning. And these processes at the end, of course, lead to different results when, when it comes to our personal expenses. Therefore, we can see at the bottom also a plan alignment. So we can align these plans that we have a final version of our planned headcount, full-time equivalents, and personal expenses at the end of our plan. And then you can see that at the left bottom piece of the slide, we have defined a handshake mapping to then go the next steps. 
So we now, with our open export API that we have introduced in Q2 2022, we can write back these new plant positions, for example, directly into Success Factors Employee Central. And of course, we can move the personal expenses then into the next content package, which is, which is our financial plan. So my personal expenses will arrive in my cost center plan. And from the cost center plan, it will then move into my profit and loss statement. And also here for the financial planning content, we have a lot of interfaces. Interfaces that you can see here in blue into, for example, integrated business planning or into SAP S4 HANA Finance. What's also interesting is that we are currently planning to introduce new integrations that you can see at the bottom middle of the slide when it comes, for example, to allocation rules. So at the moment, we plan to make it possible to take the allocation rules that have been created in SAP S4 HANA and load them directly into SAP Analytics Cloud so that the plan allocations can reuse the same allocation rules from the actuals in the ERP system. So this is to have a real insight to action to not only exchange master and transaction data, but also exchange semantics and rules. That's currently planned for Q1 2023. And of course, here it doesn't end. So we also have, for example, a content package available directly for operational sales plan, which is also available alongside with the other content packages on our ACN, the analytic content network. So now let's look into what we have achieved in the last four quarters. So what you can see here in the last four quarters from Q3 2021 to Q2 2022, we have shipped 181 new features into SAP Analytics Cloud. And if you look down a little bit to the categories, you can see that most of them went into planning as planning is one of our strategic goals at the moment, but of course, directly followed by the BI features that went into reporting stories and analytics designer alongside with the next categories, platform, data integration, Excel integration, content management and catalog and smart predict. Also interesting that 95, so almost 50% of the new features when we're addressing uh, customer influence items, so addressing customer needs. So we take this really serious. And for you as partners and customers, please use the customer influence portal to add your enhancement requests there. Vote for existing enhancement requests because the more votes we see, the more demand we see, and the more likely it is that we will consider it into our roadmap going forward. Now let's focus on our investment priorities. We have nine of them. Number one, we have the first one, integration into our business technology platform and LOBs. So this is key, integration. Second, advanced planning features and flexible modeling. We will continue to invest into especially planning and modeling capabilities. We will also invest into the integration of predictive forecasting with planning. Then we go to the second line. We will continue to invest into live connectivity, especially for HANA and BW. Continue to, uh, to invest into data exploration. Our tool here is the data analyzer. Investing into unified story. I will give you some more details on that in a minute. Then, of course, we continue to invest into enterprise readiness, performance, and usability, ongoing efforts continue to invest into SAP Analytics Cloud, our add-in for Microsoft Office 365, and invest into our workflow support component, which is the calendar. So now let's get some more details on some of the items here to make it a little bit more tangible for you. Number one, we know that a lot of our customers are still using SAP BPC and SAP BW. So we have a focus on live features, like for SAP BPC, we just added the planning sequence API shipped with Q3 2022. We are currently working on commenting for SAP BPC and BW Live. We also are working on new line enablement support and context sensitive execution for planning sequences then planned in 2023. Then we move to the right hand side for SAP BW Live features. We continue to invest into performance, especially caching mechanisms, 
Then we just shipped high and show compounded keys. Then we are currently working on the difference from feature for Q4 2022 and also for commenting on SAP BW Live. At the bottom of the slide, you can see a lot of more features that we would like to consider now in the future as we want to continue to focus on our live capabilities on top of BPC and SAP BW Live. We do not have a timeline for this yet, but we plan to now work on our 2023 roadmap and we hope to get many of these features into our near-time roadmap for the, for the next year. So stay tuned in our next presentations. What's also interesting with regards to integration is our new API step capability that we plan to ship now in the near future. So let's assume we have an SAP Analytics Cloud planning input sheet that sits on an SAP Analytics Cloud planning model. Then we want to integrate this with another model that sits inside BW on a B, with a bidirectional interface. And we, we want to write back the data into SAP BW to also access an ABAP routine that works with the data sitting in this advanced DSO object. So how can we now do this in one step with the missing piece, which is the API step? So we can now execute a multi-action in SAP Analytics Cloud that first exports the data into SAP BW with the API step and the export API. Then we can call the ABAP exit that then transforms the data in BW. And then we can import the data back into SAP Analytics Cloud to work with the transformed data. And we can do this all by using one multi-action that does this for you then. And we can not only do this with SAP BW, we also can do this with other solutions. So the API step is really a powerful tool to integrate SAP Analytics Cloud with other solutions. Then, Let's focus on front ends. So as you know, we just have acquired a new company that is called Ask Data, focusing on the casual information worker. Then we have our data analyzer to analyze data in an ad hoc-like fashion to, to do really slicing, dicing, and pivoting. And then we have our story environment to create powerful dashboards and planning applications. And I would like to give you some more insights into those three tools now going forward. Number one, as you know, we have just acquired the new company Ask Data, and we're currently integrating Ask Data into SAP Analytics Cloud by combining it with our search to insight capability tool set. So what you can see here are some first UX mockups that show how Ask Data should be integrated going forward, where we can now enter a question. The system will directly give me a feedback, and I can then also integrate these analytical cards then later on in additional processes. So plan here is to integrate as data in a first step in the year 2023 into SAP Analytics Cloud, and we will share soon an update on a more detailed roadmap. So give us some more time. We will now integrate as data into SAP Analytics Cloud in the year 2023 and beyond. The second thing is the data analyzer. Let's have a look into the new data analyzer experience. You're starting in a story, filtering lines inside a table, and then we will pass on this filter directly into the data analyzer. Once the data analyzer is being opened, we can see that the same table with the same filters has been passed on. And now we can add, for example, the time dimension with the months. We can also add the product ID into the rows. And then we can play with the table by changing the sort order of the columns, maybe sort along the product ID. We can then add additional attributes to the table. We're currently working on this new data analyzer experience, focusing especially on usability and performance. The beta is planned in Q4 this year, 
and we then plan to make this available to all customers in Q1 2023. Then focusing on story a little bit. So as you know, today we have three tools in SAP Analytics Cloud. The story as a real end user environment, then the analytics designer to also add script capabilities into SAP Analytics Cloud. And then we have the digital boardroom where we can compose stories into a powerful executive level ready uh, presentation. And what we plan to do is to bring this all into one tool, into our unified story. And also here, I want to quickly show you a first demo that shows the integration of story and analytics designer. Let's have a look at the preview of our new unified story. We have a story here with two tabs. And the first thing that we want to show you is the new capabilities that we have now in unified story that are coming from analytics design, like theming. So we can switch now to a dark theme mode. And we also can use alignment capabilities that are available in analytics design today, now directly in story to align widgets in a perfect pixel style. We also have new responsive options. So we can now switch over from our desktop resolution to responsive design made for tablets or for phones. So we now have new responsive design options at hand within the unified story experience. So now let's focus on custom widgets. We also have now scripting capabilities at hand so that we can go now to one of these custom widgets here and add some code to it. So we're now adding a code piece that will allow us that if a certain threshold is hit, it will shoot a pop-up. Showing this now to you in the runtime. So we're loading the story. Then we can first see that in the second tab, the widgets that we have aligned are now in sort order, correctly in, in, the, in the runtime. And then let's now change the filters in tab number one so that the custom widget will turn red. So now it turns red and it shows now this exclamation mark. And if clicked, it will open up a new pop-up with additional information in unified story. And last but not least, I would like to mention the table widget. So in the table, it was not possible before to switch the behavior in the runtime in the dashboard. With unified story also here, we can now add additional measures, for example, to the table and manipulate the table in an ad hoc kind of fashion directly in the unified story. Also a new feature that will be available with unified story going forward. We currently plan a beta in Q4 this year and make this available for customers in Q1 2023. So stay tuned for Unified Star. The last thing I want to show you with regards to SAP Analytics Cloud is our roadmap for the integration with Data Warehouse Cloud. So today, we already can use SAP Data Warehouse Cloud as a common data for foundation with live access for analytics and bidirectional integration for planning. And the next step will be that we make Data Warehouse Cloud models really native and integrated models inside SAP Analytics Cloud alongside with one catalog across SAP Data Warehouse Cloud and SAP Analytics Cloud. Current plan is to make this available for Q1 2023. And then in the long run, we really want to make also planning available as a service by streamlining planning and analysis with reduced model modeling efforts in a, in a really integrated fashion between Data Warehouse Cloud and SAP Analytics Cloud. So one strategy is to move Data Warehouse Cloud and SAP Analytics Cloud even more closely together. I also want to use some minutes to talk about our SAP Business Object Solution Roadmap. So as you know, we now have our new version ready, uh, which is Business Objects 4.3. And with Service Pack 3, 
plan for Q4 2022, we will add some new features like an increased productivity with the WebL new data mode to preview data, enable faster navigation, visualize data flow, combine flows of data, and pre prepare and transform your data. Then second, we will have new extend possibility options like Microsoft Drive support, export to, so another repository destination with the ability to organize prompts, support of OData version 4, new connectivity and SDKs, and wisdom freemium support. And then we also plan to have an improved usability by support of pixel reporting, new trellis charts, cell justification, table resizing using anchor option, guides to ease block positioning and multi-block selection using the lasso option. So also here we're, we're adding new features to business objects 4.3 and in the long run, we also plan to um, introduce a new version of business object that then goes beyond 2027. So until 2027, we have planned to for business objects 4.3 with the known tools, analysis for office, Lumira, and the client tools. And then going beyond 2027, we plan to ship a new version of business object that then will include analysis for office, web intelligence, and crystal reports classic, alongside with the information design tool on one BI platform. So also here, please uh, focus the statement of direction that we have recently introduced to get more information on our business object strategy. Here, I'm at the end of my presentation. I also want you to focus on new opportunities that you can please check our, out on learning.sub.com slash tech it and also see our options to then become an SAP solution expert or how to expand your conference experience on the right hand side of the slide. So check it out and thank you very much for watching my roadmap and strategy session. I hope you enjoyed it and got some new information for you. Stay tuned. Thank you very much and see you soon.